Vinton Price is an American soprano singer whose hard grafting and refined voice have transformed her into one of the most celebrated opera singers of the last century, weaving her varied musical influences with full-bodied, intimate vocals. Her success and admiration is widely felt by fans and critics alike. Childhood passions of choir singing, playing piano and watching live performances of classical singers naturally led Price into the realm of classical music as those around her motivated the potential they saw. Whilst she is now retired, Leanton Price had a rich and lengthy career spanning five decades emerging in the 1950s and quietly stepping back towards the end of the century. Saturated in the joy and unison of Mississippi churches, Leanton Price was born into a rather musical family who celebrated their blackness as something to be thankful and proud of. Her grandfathers were ministers, whilst her mother was a keen singer too. Sharing this passion of singing, Price and her mother attended a recital from Marian Anderson. It was this moment in the midst of her formative years that solidified Leanton Price's devotion to music and performance. The motivated young woman that Price was becoming demonstrated most in her sheer drive to take her career seriously. She enrolled herself into a four-year course at the prestigious Juilliard School of Music with the help of a scholarship. Having dedicated many years to the craft of musicianship, Leanton Price took her knowledge onto the bright lights of stage productions. First was Broadway in Virgil Thompson and Gertrude Stein's Four Saints in Three Acts, filled with scenic imagery and an all-black cast. Her outstanding debut was immediately spotted by Ira Gershwin, who hand-selected her in a revival of Porgy and Bess, which Gershwin himself labels a folk tale. By becoming involved in theatre, Leanton Price quickly toured her angelic vocals all across America and Europe. Of course, contextually, Leanton Price's very act of performance was revolutionary under the backdrop of racial tensions and segregation. By taking on the world, by projecting her voice for thousands to admire, Leanton Price tore down racist assumptions which would have otherwise limited her career. Her operatic debut came in 1957 for Dialogues of the Carmelites and a string of other opportunities in San Francisco successfully consumed the rest of the decade for Price. Price was revolutionary in more than one sense of the word, where she embraced the medium of television, which at the time was young and without the reputation of its stage, literature and film counterparts. Most famously, she featured in Tosca, a live opera from Puccini. It was broadcasted on NBC to the eyes and ears of many who were yet to be blessed with the graceful soprano. Yet, in making this television debut, Price also achieved another first, the first black artist performing in an opera on television. It was rebroadcast many times over the years by NBC and unfortunately was met with racist remarks. Regardless, Leonton Price paved the way for many other black artists to showcase their talent in this medium, demonstrating a trailblazing presence in the history of music from an early point in her career. Stylistically, the accompanying album for Tosca showcases Price's effortless ability to control her voice without becoming mechanical, and how she travels through the emotions of a piece with extraordinary range. She uses her voice in a way that is self-aware to the space, orchestration and story that comes with operatic performance, something which is tough to master. A highlight in the legendary soundscape of Act 1, Mario 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 Son Qui, Mia Gelosa, in which her smooth vocals weave in and out of motion, complementing Puccini, as well as asserting her power. At the start of the 1960s, Leonton Price achieved yet another cultural milestone, which to this day is one of her most career-defining moments. She joined the Metropolitan Opera in the role of Leonora in Il Trovatore. Many critics claimed that Price perfectly mastered Verdi, and this was only proven more as the Metropolitan Opera decided to have her as a regular soprano. Another prominent role she sang at the Metropolitan Opera was the controversial character Ada, who some of those closest recommended she not take on. This is because there are some problematic, stereotypical elements that Ada embodies as a black woman. Nonetheless, in an interview with the New York Times, she dismantled this belief and explained that for her, she felt empowered to sing such a role. The role represented a beautiful princess who was held captive rather than a slave, noted Price. 
Following her own heart, Leontine Price performed at her last performance for Metropolitan Opera, singing as Ada. For Leontine, she felt the character and their quirks personally as she sang. Other notable contributions during her time at the Met include Cleopatra in Anthony and Cleopatra, Tatiana in Eugene Onegin, and Fiordo Ligi in Cosi Fan Tutte. Her discography goes beyond that of stage opera. Over the years, Leonton Price has released albums containing unique renditions of famous Christmas carols, from Hark the Herald Angel Sing to Silent Night. Her voice transforms such well-known songs into cinematic, grand work. Handfuls of festive Leonton Price compilations demonstrate the commercial success and large listenership for these pieces. They are often made with a soft backing choir, which work with Price's strong voice without drowning it out. We Three Kings of Orient R is a brilliant example of how Leonton Price's renditions are produced to make the perfect balance between the proud and triumphant vocals celebrating Jesus and the collective harmony that wraps the song up into a complete piece of art. As the decades progressed into the 70s, 80s and 90s, Leonton Price continued to partake in operatic performances, predominantly around Europe, as she did in her early career, but did significantly less. This was due to a few reasons, including a lack of good productions released and the racism that was bubbling away around her. However, she found a rise in success at home in the United States as she broadened her performances beyond the realm of opera. This included performances at the White House, as requested by then-President Jimmy Carter. In more recent years, since her retirement, Leonton Price has taken her lustrous career of on-stage experience into the realm of education. Specifically, Price decided to lend her knowledge to budding opera singers who attended Juilliard. Although her voice has lowered in pitch, as expected with age, her style and ear for detail have not. Now, at the age of 93, Leonton Price is beyond performing at the Metropolitan Opera for thousands of adorned fans. Regardless, her performances are immortalized in the back catalogue of CD recordings and videos which are easily accessible for new generations to uncover. Whilst her talent was immeasurable to anything else before, her influence as a successful African-American opera singer has changed the landscape of operatic performance forever. She has used her voice and perseverance through decades of racial tension to become one of the US and the world's most well-known and well-adored classic singers ever. You can check out the Carly of Spotify to listen to the original tracks of the artist. It's a curated playlist with the most popular songs.